Every now and then I get a hunch about something, run a test, and prove myself either right or wrong. In fact, I did this just a few weeks ago with an email blast I sent to everyone in the Social Triggers community. Half of my list got one email, the other half got a different email. I was running a split test. And here's the kicker. One email generated 35% more clicks than the other email. Now, I know you can't spend clicks, but the truth of the matter is this. If you can send 35% more highly targeted prospects to your sales page, video, or anything, that often equates to a massive increase in revenue. So what was the difference between the two emails? Just one single word. When it comes to split testing, micro testing, things like one word, button colors, and other little things, rarely pays dividends. But in this split test, just one little word that changed my hook from positive to negative yielded remarkable results. 35% more clicks is nothing to scoff at. Here's what went down. In one email, I used the subject line, when is the perfect time for a meeting? client call, or webinar. In the other email, I use the subject line, when is the worst time for a meeting, client call, or webinar? You can see from those two emails that everything else in the email was exactly the same except for one single word. In one email, I used the word perfect, creating a positive hook. In the other email, I used the word worst, creating a negative hook. And that's it. Now. Can you guess which email won the split test? The email with the negative hook scored 35% more clicks over to the Social Triggers blog. Okay, so you're probably thinking, fine, I get it. I'll phrase my hooks negatively from now on. Whoa, 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 slow down a second. I got this. Let me explain the psychology behind why the email with worst instead of perfect scored me more click-throughs. And this is something you need to know about if you plan to write content or prepare any type of communication material. There's an expression from the Nobel Prize winning psychologist Daniel Kahneman that I love. Losses loom larger than gains. This means that people are willing to fight harder to prevent loss than they are to potentially gain. Almost twice as hard. In fact, research shows that someone who will fight just as hard to prevent losing $50 as they would to potentially gain $100. Ridiculous, I know. But that's why my split test had those results. Because telling people that there's a worse time for a meeting makes them shift into loss prevention mode. But that's not all. Yes, losses loom larger than gains. But as a publisher, a communicator, or anyone who's crafting a message that people see and act upon, there are diminishing returns in my experience. Let me explain. Back in 2008, I had a subscription to the print edition of the Wall Street Journal. During that time, every day was an emotional roller coaster. One day stocks would soar, another day stocks would crash, and eventually the negative news overwhelmed the positive news. And that's when I realized, you know what? This is making me feel bad about myself. It's putting me in a place of negativity all of the time. So what did I do? I canceled my subscription. The same applies online. Yes, using a negative spin on something might net a positive result today. But if you keep doing it, you risk people tuning you out. Because at the end of the day, people don't want to feel bad and hopeless. So what does this have to do with you? Here's what you need to know. When you put a negative spin on something, one that focuses people's attention on the fear of loss, you'll earn more attention. So as an example, if I were selling conversion consulting, telling people they were losing out on sales they rightfully earned would be more attention grabbing than telling them they would stand to gain 20% more sales. But don't overdo it, because eventually you'll be tuned out. Did you find this video helpful or even surprising? Subscribe to my channel and you'll get more videos just like this one. I'll reveal psychological research, insanely practical business strategies, and more. Don't lose out by not subscribing. Also, do you have a friend who you think will benefit from knowing what I shared in this video? Do them and me a favor by passing this video along to them. One of the reasons why I'm able to create these great videos and release them for free is because you share them with your friends. So thank you for that. And on that note, leave a comment letting me know how you plan on using this insight in your business. Do we have a blooper for that? I don't think I did one. I think I actually was perfect in that video. It's too hot in this stuff. I, can't, I don't know how people do this every day.